Today we are going to be cleaning this Dyson vacuum. This is the hair component. So um, we're going to just take this out of here. There's other things that you're going to need. I usually use like a little bit of a, I use a brush two brushes like something like this and then something like that to really get it clean and then we're also going to be using the steamer today if you watched my um my refrigerator cleaner you would see that i cleaned that out so we're just going to take this out of here this is the component that i use the most and then we're going to just clean in here as well um i did remove the filter the filter right here needs to be, um, the filter here needs to get taken out. So we're going to clean that as well. Just put that down here. Really, really dirty. So we're going to just get in there. And I just have a rag on my table, but I just wanted to show you how dirty this is. See how dirty that is, guys? Like, ugh. Like, even in the hole, it's super dirty. And like I said, I took out the um this is the filter so you have to clean that as well and then um recent this container had broken on me and i had to actually buy um actually no, i didn't buy anything uh dyson sent me this container so we're also going to clean in here as well if you can see that the steamer is heating up and so now we're going to actually start working on the bottom of this attachment so i'm gonna just use my little brush right here you can see that so i'm gonna go ahead and just start clearing this out and there's a little piece right here too that you can use to kind of get everything out of there so and try to clean it you could clean this on the floor or you could go ahead and use a towel like i'm doing we really want to just get in here because that's that's what's really dirty. really works good I love this little brush and the steamer is just gonna release all this dirt but I vacuum pretty much every day now because of my allergies
came out of here. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. It's pretty nasty in there, y'all. Y'all got to clean these machines. So I went ahead and I finished um, cleaning this up. You saw most of the process. See how beautifully clean this is? Super, it's super clean now. Everything is clean. So you just want to make sure that you let this dry. So let this dry. It'll probably take like a couple of hours. Get all the water out of there. Let it dry on. I would let it dry like this. And then I also cleaned this as well. I just ran it under some water. Let that dry as well. Kind of hit it to, to get all that excess water out of there. Um, I would just let this dry like this or like that if you want. Um, and I also cleaned in here. Um, you also have to clean in there as well. And then also this is the piece from the steamer. Um, go ahead and put this in some Clorox. That's what my husband recommends to just get any um, bacteria out of there. I realized I should show you how to actually take this head off. Um, so you just pull it like that and then right here there's a little contraption right there that you press and then you pull it out. It's pretty much dry you can see how clean everything is y'all look how clean that is and that's from using the steamer and just um, go ahead go going it is still a little bit of water in here but I just wanted to show you how clean this is how clean the inside of the tank is it's very clean um, it's pretty much dry I think I'm just gonna let it sit like this for a minute but it's really dry. Everything is pretty dry. Just wanted to show you what everything looks like inside. Um, this is clean. So, and then this is clean as well. I wanted to give you a closer look at how clean this is. So, with the steamer, it's pretty clean. This is, I just put that in some water. And uh, just waiting for this to dry. Um, this is pretty clean now as well. Look at it. Very, very clean if you can see in there. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Pretty clean in there, y'all. So, it's looking good. See how it was so dirty in there. I don't want to put it, my steamer in there because I don't want that to affect the motor. Um, but that's pretty clean. I might just go back in with my brush a little bit and clean that out. Um, yeah, and then I just wanted to show you guys. Where's that area I wanted to show y'all? Oh, yeah, this is an area I wanted to show you guys. Get in here. See how dirty that can be? Um, it's still a little dirty, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use my brush to clean that out 
and then yeah but this is the overall maintaining of your unit um so we'll be back after everything is dry just to show you the final results okay that's really clean you can see all in there is clean see all in there it's pretty clean so you know you could go in there even more and clean it but I'm not gonna do that I don't want to mess with the um with the motor so but yeah everything is pretty clean so and it didn't really take me that long to do so um if you guys have any questions about how I cleaned it and you know how to put everything back together let me know but definitely maintain your units you guys because the better you maintain the units um the better your your washer dryers whatever you have appliance they'll work better like that so on that note you guys give the video a thumbs up definitely leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this and I'll see y'all later. Bye.